So I watched my first ever video back the other day and I actually can't believe how bad the quality is. I knew how to edit but for some reason I decided to not edit it at all. And I only did it in September, so not that long ago. But anyway, I didn't enjoy it. But a lot of people have been watching it recently, so I thought I would redo it and show you how I create all of my designs in Photoshop before I transfer them across to Design Space or Silhouette Studio. And so it has actually changed a little bit since the first time I did the video because now I create canvases for both Cricut and Silhouette Studio. So first thing I do is create a 23 and a half by an 11 and a half canvas. That's going to be my Cricut, the one I use for my Cricut machine. And then I do an 11 and a half by like 30 inches canvas. And that one I will use for Silhouette. So then I have all of these like pre-designed designs that I sell on my Etsy shop or Shopify and I'll open all of the ones that I've sold up in Photoshop and I just kind of edit the details first. Um, these are actually all old designs so they're not ones I'm selling at the moment but I'm just going to use them as examples for you so you can get an idea of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm making orders. So I've got all of them open as I said, I'll edit the names and dates and then I'll either drag them or copy them across into the blank canvases that I created to begin with. And then I'll move them around. Like I don't send everything as one big decal. I cut most things up into sections. It makes it easier to post, but it also makes it easier for my customers to um, apply them as well when they're in different sections so that the names and date wouldn't fit on there and the cards and gifts wouldn't either so I'm going to put cards and gifts on the Cricut canvas and then this bigger canvas I'm going to try and get kind of the bigger designs and then use smaller ones to fill around the edges. So stuff like this I'll just create the first one, copy a few times and edit how it needs to be and then to there's a bit of space at the top oh in the middle there so yeah I've got this I used to sell these shoe decals so they can fit quite nicely in the middle there and then the space at the top there's this smaller welcome decal so a little bit of that can fit there and sometimes it's a little bit of trial and error, so I put that there. It hasn't filled up all the space, so actually I'm better off putting the names and date in that space instead. And then some things I don't have templates for, so like labels and stuff, I tend to just type those out and change the font. Unless there's one that I use and gets sold like all the time, then maybe... I'll have a template for that but most of these smaller ones I just type out because it's just as quick and then resize them as needed but yeah that fits quite nicely in that gap so once I'm happy I have filled enough of the space I save it as a Photoshop file first so I have the original copy on file and I save that as the date and the colour of the vinyl that I will be cutting it in. So save as a Photoshop file and then I save it as a PNG file as well as that's what I'm going to pull into Sil Silhouette Studio in order to cut it. So open Silhouette. You used to be able to, when I first got it, you could drag the PNG files in and it's not letting me do that anymore. I don't know if anyone knows why that is, be good to know. So. I'm just having to open the file instead and then move it around to make sure it's kind of within the red box. Also, I don't know if you need to do this, but page setup, I always, I always try and get it as close to the edge as I can and then send it. 
And then while that is cutting, I'll go back to my Cricut canvas and try and fill that one up now. So the smaller one, I should, because it's 11 and a half wide, I should be able to fit that on vertically. Yeah. And then again, just a case of moving things around and filling up the space so that you're not wasting any vinyl when you cut. Obviously some still does get wasted, but just kind of maximizing the space as best as possible. And then the more stuff you can cut at the same time as well, the more time it saves you. Yeah, I'm just moving this around, I'm thinking I can fit another one of those welcomes in on the edge there. And again, get rid of the background so it's transparent. Save as a Photoshop file. And this one I'm gonna save as the date white two. This is the easiest way I've found when I need to go back to files. Um, if someone wants like a repeat of something, that seems to be the easiest way to find it. It's the day and the color. So just open that in design space, add it to a new canvas. And then I just try and use the size boxes as much as I can. And there the welcomes are 11 and a half wide. So I'll use that as the reference. Once I'm happy with it, just make it. Continue to cut. And then basically just start all over again. And that's how I create my designs for selling. So I hope that was helpful. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.